it's me, Auntie Allison, and my little faithful assistant, Sophie. You know how she loves to sit right next to me. All right, I promised you that I would be back to talk about science journals. So today, that's what we're going to do. All I did is I took two pieces of construction paper and I put some lined paper in between and stapled it together, okay? And I wrote on the front, science journal. Now, if you want to, you can have your child decorated. They can decorate however they want. They can decorate with stickers or color pictures, however they want to do it. The main part is going to be, the main part is what's gonna be on the inside. And I'm gonna do two different examples for you today. All right, the first thing you wanna do is write a title for what you're doing. So we're gonna be doing a peep experiment. So at the top, I'm gonna write peep experiment. Now, if your child is K through three or even pre-K, because pre-K could do some of these, if I were you, I would write it for them. If they're four through six or older, then they can write it themselves. So you have a title. Then you're going to write the question. Okay, so every experiment has a question. Today's question is, will the peep sink or float in water? So then you can write the question for your child or they can write it. All right. Will the peep sink or float in water? Next, you want to predict. So you're going to write prediction. And then have your child predict. Okay? Do you think the peep is going to sink or float? That prediction's pretty easy. It's going to be one or the other. Well, I think it's going to sink. I'm going to say I think it's going to sink. So we'll see what happens if we're wrong. I think the peep will sink, okay? Then you're going to test your prediction and your question, okay? You also want to list your materials. So put materials. Okay, what are we using? Well, we're using a peep, we're using water, and we're using a bowl, okay? Then your procedure. And sometimes you will not go through each one of these and others you'll need to go through all of them. So the procedure is I'm going to put the peep in the water. I'm going to put the peep in the water. Okay? So now you have materials and procedure. All right? Now we're going to do the test. We're going to put the peep in the water. <gasps> it floats. The peep floats. So, what happened? You're going to write what happened. The peep floated in water. Okay? 
So the conclusion would be You might talk about why did the peep float? Well, obviously the peep is lighter or less dense than the water. So something that's not as dense as water will float. If it's more dense than water, what do you think would happen? Well, it would sink. So our conclusion is the peep is lighter than water. If it's an older child, you would want to introduce dense, the density of an object, okay? So then write, the peep is lighter than water, okay? So now you have your whole experiment written down and your child can go back and look at what they did. They can remember. Now, if you introduced the word dense, you may want to go to the next page and make that a vocabulary page. So what words did we learn in this experiment? Well, we learned about density. And then they would write the definition for density. And then you could come back to this and you could continue writing different vocabulary words as you go through and do different experiments on different days. Now, we'll put that one aside. And a second experiment would be, hmm, if I put this bean that we bought at the store in a cup of soil, do you think it would grow? Will this seed grow? All right, so the title of our experiment would be Lima Bean Seed. And then you would go through the same procedures. You would have your question, Do you think the lima bean seed will grow? Your prediction? Yes, I think the lima bean seed will grow. Materials. Well, the materials, seed, cup, soil, well, this is a good time to say, is that all the plant needs? Or the seed needs to be able to grow? Well, no, what else does it need to grow? Well, we need to put it in the sunlight, so it needs sun to grow. And what do you have to do? Well, we need to put some water on it, okay? So, you have your question your prediction, and now your materials. Your procedure. You're going to actually put a seed in the soil. So then your child would write, I put the seed in the soil, I watered it, and I put it in the window to get sun. So then they would write that procedure in their book, okay? They could also draw a picture out beside it of the cup with the soil and then just draw a seed in there. So now they have a seed or a visual of what they've done. Now, you're not going to be ready to do what happened and the conclusion until you see what happens, and that's going to take several days. So, what you're going to do on this one is you're going to write observations. So, each day, your child will record, what do I observe? Well, I haven't observed anything yet. 
but I watered my seed, okay? Maybe day two, nothing is happening yet, but I still have my plant in the window. Day three, I watered my plant again, but nothing is happening. So after several days, about a week, your the seed will start to grow. So then they'll get to talk about how they see a little sprout coming up. They'll draw a picture of the sprout. They'll get to see roots coming down in the cup. So they'll get to talk about the roots and they'll get to draw pictures of the roots growing. And then as the plant grows and grows, they'll talk about the growth of it. You might want to even measure it and record those observations. How big is my plant today? Well, it's one centimeter. It's six centimeters now. So they might want to record the plant growth. That would be pretty neat. And then when you finished watching, you would write what happened and then you would write your conclusion. Now, I hope that this has helped you to know how to keep a science journal of the little experiments that you're doing at home with your child. Not only does it help them with science, you can throw in some math, it helps with their handwriting, and then they're learning part of the scientific method. So, I will have everything that you need in the description down below so you can always refer back to that if you need to. If you have any questions, please leave a comment for me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a huge thumbs up and make sure you click the notification bell so you are notified whenever I upload a new video. I hope that you are enjoying your time at home with your children. Let me know if there's anything that you need and God bless you. Have a great day. Thank you for joining us today. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below. It's free. And don't forget to give us a huge thumbs up. Click the like button and turn on those notifications so you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video. Thanks again for watching.